don't think there's anything more important for America than building the border wall. We need to get the border wall moving, folks. But hold on. I ain't talking about the one down south. No, no, no. I'm talking about getting a border wall up north, protecting us from the Canadians, man. What are these Canadians doing? All right, this this story of what the Canadians did to the housing market in Canada just destroyed, eroded the freedom of uh, the Canadians. Uh, they're banning all foreigners from purchasing homes uh, for two years, right? And truth be told, I found out about this uh, a little bit ago. It was in my Facebook feed, and I didn't really think much of it. I don't really care. I don't uh, invest in Canadian real estate. So I wasn't really something that I thought was on my radar. But now there's markets in the USA that are looking to what Canada did, and they're thinking about talking, or they're thinking about implementing it here in the USA. So I'm like, whoa, wait, what? We need to pay attention to what's happening up there in Canada if that's going to be coming here to America. So let's unpack it. <laughs> Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here to help you guys unpack the topics in real estate, answer your questions, teach y'all a little something, something. I've done a lot of stuff in real estate. I manage a $75 million portfolio of rental properties, and I've sold over $200 million worth of real estate. And I hate Canada, right? Like, I just, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of that country. I don't like uh, its political policies. I don't like that Justin Thoreau dude or whatever his name is, although I will give it to him. He is one handsome dude. He is probably one of the me, the most handsome politicians out there, right? He's definitely more attractive than my guy, Sleepy Joe. Uh, he's definitely more handsome than Trump. I do think Trump is cool uh, and hilarious, but not a handsome guy. But I ain't feeling Justin, and I ain't feeling what they do up in Canada. And quite frankly, I'll be honest with you, I don't like hockey, and I really hate the cold. OK, but what I really hate is socialism. What I really hate is when a country rips its citizens rights away. And that's what's happening in Canada, man. What are these people doing, dude? Canada to ban foreigners from buying homes as prices soar. How crazy is that? Right. They're literally just if you own a house in Canada, they're telling you who you can and cannot sell it to. Right. That's nuts. I feel like that goes against uh, everything uh, that we stand for in the USA with the fair housing laws, right? Now, the reason Canada and uh, the government up there, those friggin' hockey-loving socialistic bastards are doing this, is they're claiming that the housing prices and the housing market is soaring out of control, right? So instead of letting the free market do what the free market does and regulate itself, because, you know, freedom, uh, Canada is like, nope, no no more foreign buyers, okay? Because in the last two years, housing is up about 50% in Canada, right? And they do got some expensive real estate in Canada. We see a lot of people from Canada coming to invest with Holton Wise because we help Canadians and other investors in incredibly high-priced markets, expensive markets, markets where you have no rights or freedom, uh, invest in the best cash flow markets in the USA uh, with reasonable landlord-tenant laws, right? That's what we help Canadians do. And I know that their pricing is insane, okay? Uh, average price of a house is 869300 in Canadian money, which is 693000 in U.S. money. Also, if we're going to talk about my hatred for Canada, can we talk about their money? Like, dude, why y'all got so many coins, man? Like, what's up with that? Like, dude, get rid of the coins, bro. Like, they got, like, freaking $5 bills or $2 bills in coins or something. Like, that's out of control, man. I hate coins. But anyway, so their houses are a lot, right? And they're like, hey, man, we're going to stop this. We're going to stick our freaking greedy government dirty fingers into the free Canadian citizens and make them no longer free, right? Again, that's why a lot of Canadians end up investing with my company, right? And also, freaking 693000 is the average price of houses. Wow. And the markets we uh, get these guys in, like, we're looking at prices under hundred k. It's, it's pretty wild. But anyway, so Canada has decided they're going to ban foreigners 
uh, from buying homes, right? So all foreigners are banned. Now, there's a couple exceptions, right? I wrote them down. Uh, if you are a permanent resident or a foreign student, uh, I guess Canada will still allow you to purchase a home, right? So if you own a home in Canada and you want to sell it, if your person is a Canadian or falls under those two exceptions, uh, you are allowed. Other than that, though, Canada's like, nah, nah, you can't do it. Like, what is it? Like, nah, it's not really your house. It's our house. No, freedom, no. You don't own anything. Like, come on. They're they're regulating who you can sell your property to? That is insane. On top of that, on top of that, uh, if you do manage to sell your property uh, to essentially Canada's approved list of buyers, uh, but you own that property for less than a year, they're going to go ahead and penalize you as well. They're going to increase your taxes. So the moral of the story is in Canada, you don't really own anything, do you? You're not allowed to sell it to whoever you want. If you own it for a certain amount of time, uh, you're going to get penalized if you sell it too quickly, according to the Canadians, right? That's out of control. These are reasons why uh, many people trying to make money in the real estate industry are not investing their money in Canada because the government, uh, you know, they've proven time and time again up there in Canada, they don't care about your rights. They don't care about your freedom. They will come in and do whatever they want. I mean, come on. You guys remember what they did to the truckers, right? And the people uh, that helped out those poor truckers uh, and and had their money just confiscated, stolen by the Canadian government, dude. Canada's a mess, right? And again, this this story, like April, April 2022 is when this came out. It's been out for a little while. I didn't really pay any attention. I didn't really think I needed to talk about it. I don't really care. It's like, whatever, dude. Everybody knows Canada is jacked up. But what ended up happening is uh, literally yesterday, an article from Fox, uh, it was like News KW4 or something like that. I'll put a link to that video in the notes below. Uh, they, they published an article that uh, the Dallas-Fort Worth area, right, Texas, one of the reddest of the red states, one of the freest of the free states in the grand old U.S. of A., is looking at what they're doing in Canada to housing, and they are now considering... Uh, implementing some of the same restrictive housing bans on your freedom, right? So uh, apparently what we're going to need to do, fellow investors, fellow people in support of, you know, living in a free nation, uh, we are going to have to pay attention to what is happening up north in Canada, right? Because apparently what's happening in Canada, you're going to see some of that stuff trickle down. I mean, yeah. We know it's going to trickle over to California. I mean, those freaking Wokies. No, uh, dude, we know those people are out of control. But it is scary. And I think it's really going to change how the real estate industry operates over the next generation. When places like Texas are looking at what they're doing in Canada as uh, potential blueprints uh, for restrictiveness that they're going to do here in the USA, right? So Canada, two years, folks. All foreign buyers, nope, not allowed to buy a house, not allowed to sell your house to them. Canada has proven time and time again it don't care about your rights. And now what's even scarier, other places in the USA are following suit. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.